Thank you. Great. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. 29th September. Uh, two things I must say uh, that is overriding and overloading. Please do not believe my, my talk. You should check. Overriding it is from base class to child class the function can be overrided. That means you have a de separate definition of a function that is called overrided and overloading within the same class we have the same name of the function but the changing the parameters number of changing parameters or type you can overload say two different things though look similar but you must check it is don't believe my word you individually everybody should check okay any question you can ask with the question and another thing is that when Sarah has asked well, what is the use of the function called sometimes in industry function generally not called sometimes can you tell me at what reason because some whenever you make a function call your port execution time will be slower because whenever you call a function then you are something you have to put it into a stack and do the function and pop say push and pop of the stack sometimes slower so sometimes in operating system which is, has to be much faster if you make it some function call they generally do the repeat things so in the code itself there may be duplication of the items that is the you see the Mac, the concept of Mac 2 is there. So, what I want to say that not functions generally is used, that is correct, you are also correct for readability of the programmers because programmers times are more than the CPU time right now. So, so your program is much readable whenever it use the function and it takes less space in the computer it takes space but it will be slower. If you do, if you do a function, no slower. If you do very integrated job of very memory referencing and lots of, then maybe with the, if you have maybe three times or four times, you have to do maybe without function, it will be faster uh, because uh, right now memory has a little price for embedded devices. So when to use function, when not to use function, but generally functions are used. Uh, any question regarding this functions? it slows down okay because whenever you call a function you have to call you have to push all your cpu surroundings registers and think into a stack lots of registers if you say intel platform bcd hl so all registers have to put in other platform and then whenever you are coming from the function you have to get it out so it will be slow okay uh, everything is correct that is thing another thing i just need to show this is I already shown, I think if I shown it this thing to you, please respond, this I am clearing a class, have I shown it? Hello? Yes sir. Oh, then, okay, yes, sir. forget, then, then uh, I might repeat, I should not repeat, okay, then uh, these things I want to show you, this, these things I want to show you, probably, uh, I am not sure, what is this, T1, 5 comma, anyone can respond, what is, what should be the type T1, oh it is written, tuple, okay, because whenever you, Tuple declaration, you can, one way is the opening bracket, uh, opening bracket, closing bracket, but this is another way for tuple declaration. If you just see it, I am declaring T1, 5 comma, it, uh, it will be, uh, type T1 will be tuple, okay. But it is not a great way, but these are the, sometimes you should know all these things. And see here T2, I just 6 without comma, what is it, let us see. It is an integer, okay. So, are you getting it? Any any confusion? So, uh, any value after comma that means it is a tuple, okay. Another thing is experiment, code experiment. My age is really 59, uh, 59 year young. Text is my name is SRC. I am closing bracket years young. What does it do? Print text format age. Let us see what is happening. Sorry. Are, are, is it visible? Screen is visible? This screen portion is visible or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. So, what, is, what has happened? See here, my name is SRC and like it is a uh, C printf command, the format string. Uh, here, the you, you have to do it print text format age. Then the automatically it will be uh, and you give it here second bracket opening and close it will be 59 automatically come is it I think uh, you should practice it you should practice it 
is this clear sir yeah cast me question sir we have got sir we have got the same thing by using f string also yeah 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 it, it is alternative way but it is most of the places you see this most of the okay. code so you should know different ways also because string uh, one thing uh, in python is string operator overloading is not there in java also operator overloading is not there uh, overloading here you must know what is overloading and overwriting uh, operator overloading java is not there here also whenever you say my somnath I, if i write it here say uh, if i write it is plus uh, plus uh, age it would not take because it, one portion is string another portion is integer so i have to convert it to string i can do it str within code 59 that can i do then i can use the plus operator but any string with plus operator with the integer or floating point number it will create an exception it will not er generally call error i call it sophisticated way it is called exception so uh, it, it is the same for java and python so what we will do we one way is handling is this uh, format string okay this is format string you can do it another way you can do it uh, that is a plus you, you go up to this i am quote as in plus str comma h again plus yourself okay so you have to convert your integer to a string operator string string function uh, str string you have to make it integer to string it is uh, very important in if uh, it in perl language it is not uh, perl uh, here it is a though it's a dynamic typing remember uh, python is a dynamically typed what sarah said but it is once you have typed it uh, you cannot change it quickly Uh, you have to convert it huh? okay you have to casting operator should be there it is strongly typed dynamically typed is, what is there some confusion between c is what is c is statically typed and strong entity java is statically typed strong entity why java because you everything you declare uh, before compile time so java runs faster then python definitely runs faster but what is the negative point of java is that uh, It, it it cannot call API and API uh, in runtime calling is poor. But Python, because it's a dynamic typing, uh, it is ex excellent language for backend. Okay, because uh, at the last minute it will be calculated. It is the your dynamic that is called dynamic typing. But but it is strong entity type. So it cannot be uh, even though it's dynamically typed, it has to be converted. Okay, you have to convert it to uh, casting operator like uh, integer. string is it is it clear is it sensible to you onumita some who has question is is it sensible if you got it please say yes or no it is a class no sir yeah great thank you very yes, much sir. thank you you please respond otherwise uh, i yes, can sir. great great thank you now let's go to the next i everything i am doing in the um, uh, colab okay it just another is uh, this thing is quantity 2 so how to parameter item 567 is the say particular amazon samsung mobile price is say 30000 each say my order i want to pay 2 2 is uh, item number 2 so uh, for pieces this is this is zero holder is this quantity item 1 this is the this holder Samsung Mobile. Print my order format this thing. If you run it, see what happens. See here, I want to pay thirty thousand rupees. Thirty thousand. It is here. Pay two. What is the pay two here? It is the zeroth one second. So this is automatically thirty thousand for two pieces. For two pieces. See here is zero zero. What is zero? What is the placeholder of zero? Here it is a quantity is a placeholder of zero, and item one. What is item one? This one, that is the five six seven Samsung mobiles. Is it sensible for you? I this code will be with you. I'll I'll everything will I'll give you. Is it is it sensible for you? Is Python? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, great. So this this way, it is a bit complicated way. Uh, it is not available in C and Java. So this is some reducing tensor uh, Python is there for uh, readability. So you must know this thing. I think you must know. I think okay. Now fine. Now we just quickly uh, visit. Uh, Python PPT, I am making it for you. Just quickly, you just have to recognize who are they. Yeah, it is visible through you. Please, the first screen. Who are they? Anyone? Yes, sir. Who are they? Can you tell me anyone of you? Anyone? Uh, anyone? Who was he? Who was he? They are all the pioneers. Because they are the, with them only, we are, your computer science is running on. Not, uh, not Bill Gates, not Steve Jobs. Okay, they are outsiders to the computer science. Who is he? It is written. You just, uh, it is just you see it and tell me. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Uh, so, yeah, I think this you can see. You know very. This is who? Oh, tell me, some someone. Dennis Ritchie. Okay. <laughs> Dennis Ritchie, he, he, he invented with, this is Ken Thompson, at the Bell Lab, they invented Unix and C language, both, Unix operating system and C, so there's a funny thing about Unix and C, it is like a chicken and egg problem, it is very difficult which one comes first, because is a uh, PDP-8 machine was there at Bell Lab in 1960s, 60-61, and they, that is an unused machine, and these two genius writing a uh, new language first at the first time language called bcpl and then they go for it c language and they write an operating system also portable operating system so this is the two guy who developed c though it is his name is comes first dennis richie he is also there uh, thompson they invented unix and c why i'm saying chicken and egg problem because most of the unix operating system is written in c okay and nowadays uh, most of the your operating system on any machine, your Mac, your Windows are written in still C++. So C++ you cannot avoid. Nowhere you can see it is system software written in Python or Java. Okay. So it is, so you have to, if you have to, uh, if you have to know that Python very well, you have to know C, you have to know C++ and you have to little bit of know Java and Python. If you have comparing all these things, then you can say I am Yes, I am good at Python, okay, because Python majority, majority of the things is taken from C++. C++, I, I think C and C++ is the mother language everybody should do. Dennis Ritchie now, in, after 10 years, Jon Strustrup, he is still uh, giving their lectures, you see his online lectures, he developed C++, C++ is one of the, still the best language. Uh, one of my, or some of our students in IIT Kanpur postgraduate uh, that IIT Kanpur the students love C++ for competitive coding so even you can also think as a, you are in the first years you have to face a lot of competitive coding so competitive coding uh, there is no alternative to C++ it is fastest it has all the object oriented programming facility procedural programming facility and it has the standard template library all are there so what the python is telling or java is telling all are there in c++ but yes you have to write uh, you have to know a lot you have to uh, your readability will be less okay so uh, i think whenever somebody says c it should be c++ he is the person nicola sweet he developed the concept of data structure he uh, your your program consists of not only program it is a pro program consists of data structure and algorithm he is the first person you said that he developed the language and all the subsequent levels with that Nicola Sweet. We read this book. And anybody, Richard uh, Alderman, he said the whatever uh, earlier literature was uh, done, uh, it is generally copy and uh, changing. So there is there should not be any copyright issue in software. But if you say you generally copy it, if say, say Microsoft and Oracle. They generally get a lot of code for at and Bell Lab and they say, no, this is my copy, nobody should copy. So this is, should not be done. He, for this, the Unix, uh, another name I should mistake, that uh, Linus. Uh, so he is the person who is for open source <coughs> uh, industry, who backed open source. He's James Gosling. He also 
developed Java in 1991 and he is also our Python guru, uh, uh, Guido van Rassum. They are comp they done the development of Java and uh, this thing. So, but they all influenced by C++. So, a uh, lot of the thing features are there. Uh, here, uh, James Gosling, Java, uh, it is static typing, but in Python is dynamic typing. Python, th this gentleman passed his graduation degree in, at the, can you guess me at what age? At the age of 26 or 27. He's such a brilliant, uh, the professors guided him to the examination hall to make him pass because he's always busy in writing new language and uh, on, a, on a mainframe. He developed the same like uh, Dennis Ritchie and all. So, He's a genius, definitely. And still, he is the benevolent dictator. They, they are called benevolent dictator. All are benevolent dictator. Unfortunately, he died at the 2012, uh, yes, 2012, uh, as same as Steve Jobs. But everybody talk about Steve Jobs, but he is the person who uh, developed C and for this, uh, this thing. And he is still alive and a beautiful lecture. You should see his online lectures. True to uh, he says uh, any mobile, if you open up 99 prints of code, more than 90 is in C++, any mobile sophisticated. Uh, I don't know about him, probably not. And uh, James Clausen is there, they are, so, but I think he is now out of control of Java because it is taken by Oracle. So that is the reason Java is not, it is whenever after taking from the uh, sun, it is not, uh, it is not going to any good direction. and. But he is the benevolent dictator. He left all his job and uh, he was with Google. He was with Dropbox, uh, Guido Henderson, but he stronghold the Python language. So there should be some one dictator. It can, you cannot take, give it to um, really open source. Everybody gives suggestions. No, something you have to be say, no, we don't want it. Uh, you cannot get all the features of a language. A, a lang Next slide will come to this. Next slide. What, what, what the gentleman said? Many people uh, think that it, uh, a language is kind of religion. It's not that. Uh, the, you, you are bind to one language, that means you always try to code in that language. No, it should be a, the, a language has a purpose. If you still write a device driven program, there is no alternative to C. There is no alternative to C and C. You, you cannot write a good program in Java and Python in a device driven. But if you want to say machine learning problem, there is no alternative to Python. Okay, you very difficult to write a C++ program in machine learning and in Java. So, it is a various types of it. But if you say any business software, is business software where a lot of database connectivity and this thing, there still Python is not that good. Uh, still Java is there, even the, all the industries. So, Java. So, it, you have to know uh, two, three languages. I suggest you must know C++, you must know Python and you must have good knowledge of Java. And that should be your priority okay so you should not stick to one language uh, like if you know only one language then you say that is the god no every language has some very good features uh, like c++ has very good features the fastest language uh, and, and python the slowest language but why the world is learning python because its development time is quicker okay any question you can say same thing quickly this he is developed BCPL language, you know all this, Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie developed, this, these two guys develop Unix and C, just quickly see history, it is not there, see what main point problem of the C is a pointer, that is the thing, uh, pointer can do havoc, uh, it's, so it's a Java, uh, C++ does have the pointer and C, one negative is the exception handling, C doesn't have anything in exception handling, so when the error comes, it's flats out so but c++ has the exception handling but c++ uh, doesn't have multi threading feature so any cpu you know there are multi threading you can make it faster so java has the multi threading feature and python does have the multi threading feature that is the reason java becomes very popular uh, python also uh, uh, that's it the exception handling means when the your program got an error error can be uh, syntax error, it can be done by compile time, but when the runtime error, they, then uh, whether program will crash or program will correct, uh, try to correct. So nowadays uh, it is always uh, told that program always try to get it out. So that is called exception handling. 
the, the more exception handling is there, the more your uh, your your software will be accepted. Uh, C++ as does have ex uh, exception handling capacity. Java just copied it and make it better. Uh, and C and uh, Python's exception handling is the same as Java. So exception is a must and C doesn't have it. So that way I must tell C has a limited future, but C++ has a future, but a negative point of C++ it doesn't support multi-threading. Okay. Anyway, so that the great gentleman very true stroke, he said uh, garbage collection is not necessary because there's another negative point in C++ there is no garbage collection in uh, in Python and Java there's a garbage collection. Okay. C++ problems are there, but if you have to be expert programmer, otherwise it will be there. So, I think uh, uh, for today, uh, I can end here because the is evening is there. I think no one-way lecture. So, you now I open for question. You can ask any question, anything, any Python, C, anyway. But my suggestion would be uh, you do it yourself. Uh, don't take our words as a gospel truth, um, like uh, overloading and overriding. These are the two confusing words. I tried my way, overloading within the class, overriding uh, means uh, overriding as if you are riding on a horse. So it is that way that whenever you image, image, uh, imagine that thing, it will be like from base class and derived class, then it is called overriding. And call by value and call by reference is very, very tricky. Don't try to jump to it. Call by value in C. What the C says, uh, whenever you say call by value, uh, but C has to be called by value because C is every parameter is mutable. So C has to have call by value because uh, Java, uh, not because of Python, Python you have immutable. Immutable certain types of like string is immutable. So even if you pass it to call by reference, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change. Are you getting my point? So, C has all the data are mutable. Say, string, uh, character, there is no string concept in C. So, they have to have call by value and call by reference. Now, how to see the call by reference in C? Whenever you see the star or ampersand. So, that is the way you detect any, any, that is the way, the crudest way I look to it. Any, whenever you see uh, ampersand like whenever you're getting value input you see ampersand i this is the first difficult thing in c why uh, i have to have ampersand is a placeholder concept uh, i have to understand i have to understand the students that concept is good it is not java is not there python is not there why you put an ampersand and whenever you see a star and ampersand within the function parameter then it must be called by reference okay mm, another thing is but in Python, you have uh, like tuple, it is uh, immutable. So, if you push the, if you say, if you are designing a Python uh, language, if you give a Py, uh, that object to a call by reference, it does not any, anything, it is a call by value. So, in Python, you, uh, Java, what Sarah said, exactly true, you must do it your own, okay. Any question, please, I am open. The house is open for questions. And you should put your mic. It, it, it now the mandatory in the always. Earlier it was not. Multi-threading, C++ does not have the multi-threading features because C++ does not work in a virtual machine. But Java creates its own virtual machine. That is called Java virtual machine. And Python has its own virtual machine. So they have the, they can make it the support. But remember, Making a virtual machine will make it the slower. So C++ always run fastest, and and uh, Java, Python is the slowest because Python is all dynamic typing. Uh, so multi-threading can be uh, only be given when it is um, write its own virtual machine. Virtual machine makes your program slow. So that is the reason if if you you open up your mobile, all the software components is in C++ because they don't create a virtual machines uh, because they have to run that as a chip to make it faster but when you uh, run your Android app that is runs on uh, a virtual machine and